Hi, this is day 32 to overcome pornography addiction. You know, 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Sound mind translate in, translates into uh, self-control. That means you have self-control of your body. Um, there's a lot of people that are scared of getting over pornography addiction because they think that when they do, their sex drive is going to go away. So, you know, they, they equate, okay, they think that the desire to look at pornography is the same as, as the desire to have sex. And that is a lie. Because the desire to look at pornography is one thing, the desire to have sex is another thing. Okay? One is evil, the other one is righteous. The, the, the desire to have sex is normal. God gave it to you, to all of us. Obviously, if we do it the way that He wants us to do it. Um, there's a lot of people who think that if they just quit, having sex that they will that that's the only way to quit pornography so they think that's another lie it's you know they think well you know if I just quit if I just don't have the desire to have sex anymore then I'll be able to get out of this porn addiction and that is a lie again listen these lies are in our subconscious minds and they keep us from you know overcoming I remember before 2006 I remember thinking that way I remember thinking wow you know if I if I just don't have sex anymore then then I can quit porn addict you know I can quit looking at porn or if I just don't have the desire to look at porn then I won't want to uh, have sex and that scared me do you see the difference so second Timothy 1 7 again says for God has not given you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind sound mind you have a spirit of a sound mind inside of you which means that you have self-control over your body and you tell your body when it is that you're going to act and when you're going to do things. You're not going to be like an animal who has the desire and does it. You're a human being with the Spirit of God inside of you that God gave you, like it says in uh, 2 Timothy 1.7, a spirit of a sound mind which translates into self-control.